Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to another Beekeeping Basics. So beekeeping hygiene is really important and um, we're just about to go out on another inspection and so I thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of the kind of equipment that we use for keeping our hive tools clean. So let's take a look in the sink and see what we've got. Okay, so this is an example of what not to take out with you when you're going out to inspect your bees. A bucket full of dirty water, dirty hive tools and the potential to spread disease. So what we're going to do is give it a quick clean out and show you how we keep our hive tools clean. So the first thing we need to do is to empty the old dirty water out. Now we use washing soda so I've got my washing up gloves on so we're just going to clean this away and then we can show you what we use to make sure that we can clean all of our tools properly. So uh, we'll just give this a rinse out. And in here we've got our hive tools. This was a scouring cloth but we'll start with a new one next time. Our hive tools and we've got a few of our hive numbers that uh, we've taken off old dead hives that we've cleaned up and these are now ready to be used. So we'll just rinse this out and then we'll let the water just run into there and we use warm water because that helps with the washing soda. Okay so we've put clean water into our bucket and uh, we're now going to add our magic ingredient which is soda crystals or washing soda uh, not to be confused with caustic soda do not use caustic soda so this is washing soda um, we buy ours from the local supermarket at the moment the best price that we can find is at Asda Walmart which is 69 pence for a bag a one kilo bag um, and to two litres of water we'd probably add about half a bag um, so we're going to show you how to do that and then we add a few drops of washing up liquid um, just to help with the cleaning process and this will clean off all of the propolis and all of the grime from your hive tools and from your gloves so that you can keep clean and hygienic between inspections particularly between hives so let's just go ahead and sort this out okay so simply sprinkle in the washing soda crystals and that's approximately half a pack and then just a few drops of washing up liquid a new scour cloth to help clean everything up and that's it we're ready to go out and do our inspections and keep everything nice and clean which will make inspections a lot easier as well so if you're wondering where we get our wash buckets from, um, it's quite simple. Um, we use Mitoway quick strips as a varroa control and we'll be doing some videos on that uh, uh, in the f near future. Um, but simply once we've used the bucket we give it a quick wash and then we can use it as a wash bucket and it's ideal for us. Um, we can keep all of our tools in one place so nothing gets lost. I hope you found that of use. Um, please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll be back in the near future with some more beekeeping basics.